Original and new orange. Hey, I hope you're eating potato chips because I got to show you something. These Delta Gold brand potato chips are so fine you can even see how good they taste. Check this out. Get out one of the chips you're eating and bring it up here. Now I'll take out one of my chips and you put your chip next to mine. You see how golden and light colored these Delta Gold chips are? Well, that's exactly how they taste. Delta Gold chips absolutely sparkle with flavor. And the final proof is you take one out, you pop it into your mouth, and <laughs> the bing! You are golden. New Delta Gold brand. You can see how good they taste. Did you ever find a burger this adventurous? This tantalizing? This fresh? This tasty? Did a burger ever make waves? No! With the delicious new seafood salad from Taco Bell. The new seafood salad from Taco Bell, the cure for the common meal. We homed in on an alien ship which destroyed my crew. She'll risk everything to destroy them. They must be come at night. Go to infrared, people. These people are here to protect you. Multiple signals. Your soldiers. What's happening, April? It won't make any difference. Sigourney Weaver. Aliens, the new movie. Rated R. Starts Friday, July 18th at a theater near you. Stay tuned for some scenes from tomorrow night's dramatic episode of Celebrity. BMW 735i is one of those rare luxury sedans engineered by driving enthusiasts. While other luxury sedans announce to the world you've arrived, the new BMW 735i offers you the considerable advantage of arriving a bit sooner. Contact your Bay Area BMW dealer for a thorough test drive. Indulge your taste for the best. And a soleil for the San Tropez With the elegance of the San Tropez comes the luxury of beautiful skin. From Bain de Soleil. For the eyes, the lips, the face, and the body in a range of sun formulas for your skin's own needs. And a soleil. Indulge in it. What's behind the curtain? Or what's in this box? Or what's under this bottle top? Wait, it's a hot top from Coca-Cola. It could be an instant winner. Jay, tell her what she can win. Great prizes, like a 1986 Subaru turbocharged XT Coupe, a Riva Jog scooter by Yamaha, and lots of other great prizes from the Oakland A's, Baskin Robbins, and Carl's Jr. Play hot top solely from Coca-Cola. You could win instantly. We reserved a car for a week. Sir, we can turn your week's vacation into a national holiday. National holiday? At National Car Rental, it's easy to extend your seven-day vacation into nine days. Just rent a car between Thursday and Saturday, pay the low weekly rate, and you get two extra days free. That's the national holiday. Harry, where are all those balloons coming from? To turn your week's vacation into a national holiday, call 800-CAR-RENT. Well, there are four things you can finally do that'll make you feel great. Fix that leaky roof. Take a family vacation. Get in shape. And catch up on St. Elsewhere. I love that show. Wednesdays on NBC. 
Tom Brokaw brings you face to face with world leaders. We are in this country at this moment. Would you permit on site verification? The economy has been going backward, not forward. Prime Minister, there has been a great debate in this country. Prime Minister, the president has some pretty harsh things to say about taxing them because I'm not. NBC Nightly News with Tom Brokaw, tuned in to the world. Tomorrow, the devastating secret begins to unravel. Mac Crawford, Claiborne Cantrell, and T.J. Luther make it to the top. But if one of them talks, it could destroy them and the women who love them. Thomas Thompson's epic saga of the American dream gone haywire. Celebrity, tomorrow. Wednesday night on Highway to Heaven, a dying woman wants to see her son, but a powerful government is keeping them apart. Can Jonathan bridge two worlds with peace and love before it's too late? Then come home to comedy with Nell Carter and Give Me a Break and Jack Pugman and you again, followed by St. Elsewhere. Hello, this is William Daniels, Dr. Craig at St. Elsewhere. As a viewer, I'm sure you have qualms about what's on TV. One thing is perfectly clear, St. Elsewhere will cure you of that trauma. Take St. Elsewhere Wednesday nights and call me in the morning. Coming up on New Center Forest, shooting in the Mission District leaves one person dead and another wounded. A suspect has been arrested. I'm Jerry Graham. And I'm Emerald Ye. Several aftershocks have hit the San Diego area following today's Southern California earthquake. Details coming up on New Center 4 Update. Thursday, it's Cosby starting off a night of family fun. And leave it to family ties to keep the laughs coming. Oh, no. What are they going to do? Everything's under control. Then on Cheers, will Norm bank on a friend to get a promotion? Yeah, yeah, Stump. Yeah, yeah. And the fun continues with Night Court. I'm here to strip for Dan Fielding. Thursday. Honey, did you make the payment on the Isuzu? No. Did you pay it last month? I haven't made a payment on the pickup since we bought it. Three months without a payment? Does the word repossession mean anything to you? Make your best deal on any new Isuzu pickup, and your first three payments will be paid by Isuzu, so relax. Hey, Mr. Accountant, did you pay the electric bill? <laughs> Isuzu pickup sale. We pick up your first three payments. See your Greater Bay Area Isuzu dealer now. <laughs> You're hot today, Dad. <laughs> this shirt smells... <laughs> You look it. <laughs> Dad, your shirt smells icky. Come on, we'll wash them. Introducing new Surf. Unlike detergents that cover up odors, Surf actually removes both dirt and odors. Hey, you did a good job on these shirts. It smells good, too. <laughs> new Surf removes both the dirt and the odors. To get on top of the news, we got a satellite uplink. We got cameras, cables, and copters. But to stay on top of the news, we got Sylvia Chase. As a nationally known investigative journalist, she was hired not just to read the news, but to know the news. Somebody once asked me why I wanted to be a reporter, and I said, because I want to be able to walk into the Oval Office and say, why did you do that? We put all this into the news, so you'll get more out of the news on News Center 4 at 6 and 11. When a mother gives up her baby for adoption, then changes her mind, whose baby is it? Watch Cover Story, Monday. Emerald Ye, Jerry Graham, Pat Finn Weather, Gary Ragnett Sports, Wayne Shannon with commentary. And now, from the West's most honored newsroom, the News Center for Northern California, this is News Center 4 Update. Good evening. At least nine aftershocks have rolled through San Diego County following a 5.3 earthquake this morning. Tonight, disaster officials are tallying up the damage. The quake was felt along the California coast from Oxnard to San Diego. It was centered about 30 miles offshore northwest of San Diego. Huge boulders fell across roads, store windows cracked, merchandise was thrown onto the floor. One woman died from a heart attack, but officials haven't really determined if it was directly related to the earthquake. Fourteen people did suffer minor injuries. Some residents in one high-rise San Diego hotel cut vacation short after the elevators broke. We had to walk down, have our stuff taken down. It was, it's too much. I started to get a little panicky, and we were starting to run out of the room, and then it calmed down. 
A strange footnote to today's quake, a mountain of books fell on an 86-year-old San Diego man, pinning him for 12 hours after the quake. He was an avid reader and had piled books and magazines to the ceiling. Rescuers say he survived because the books provided enough of an air pocket for him to continue breathing. Today's quake follows a major earthquake last week in Palm Springs that caused $6 million worth of damage. San Francisco police have a 17-year-old juvenile in custody tonight in connection with a double shooting in the Mission District. Police say the suspect shot and injured a security guard at Discount Builder Supply on Mission Street, then took the guard's gun, went into the store, and shot the manager to death. A witness says the suspect then ran outside and was caught by police. I heard shots, two shots. So I thought it's a firecracker, but then I heard somebody was screaming. So I turn around and bust up because this is closed already, the other side gate. The front, then, then the one there is, um, is open, still open, because they always close this one here first before they close the store. So I run back here, and halfway here, I saw the security on the ground. The security guard is hospitalized in serious condition tonight. He was shot once in the abdomen, and a bullet grazed his head. A Coast Guard search team pulled the body of a 55-year-old Alameda man out of San Francisco Bay this afternoon. Officials say Simone Cortez had been windsurfing near Crown State Beach and was reported missing just after noon today. Cortez was wearing a life jacket, but coroner's deputies say that he may have drowned. An autopsy is scheduled for tomorrow morning. A fog-shrouded highway in Brazil claimed at least 19 lives today. 80 vehicles crashed in a series of chain reaction collisions that left more than 150 people injured. The first crash involved several busloads of religious pilgrims. Most of the vehicles burst into flames on impact. After that accident, dozens of others occurred over the next five miles of the highway outside Sao Paulo. Gunmen abducted 10 Filipino nuns and an American missionary in two separate kidnappings today. Catholic officials say they've heard the report that 30-year-old Brian Lawrence of Wisconsin has been kidnapped, but they have no details. Witnesses say Lawrence was forcibly taken from his quarters at a university in Mindanao. The nuns were pulled from their convent by armed men. Philippine officials say the same group may be responsible for both abductions. A weekend orgy of racism in Idaho has ended for white supremacists, members of a group called the Aryan Nation. A huge cross was burned in northern Idaho last night as part of the closing ritual. The meeting drew about 150 white racists from across the country and Canada, all dedicated to making an all-white nation. I've been riding around up here in the northwest for a couple of days now, and I've seen very few minority people. So basically, it's already set. About 10 miles from the gathering, more than 1,000 people held a human rights rally denouncing racism and prejudice. A victim of apartheid was getting help today in San Francisco. Patrick Matoto, the black South African refugee who jumped ship to find asylum in the United States, thanked the San Francisco church today for its support. Matoto told the Third Baptist Church, American demonstrations against apartheid were always on his mind. When I was in Africa, my happiest moments was always when I hear Americans are demonstrating against apartheid. Matoto was joined today by the Reverend Cecil Williams. He told the congregation about a new grassroots effort to force the white South African government into giving blacks more rights. Williams asked the congregation to send letters to the Senate Finance Committee, which has delayed passage of a bill outlawing American investments in South Africa. And he said Americans must push harder to force the South African government to end apartheid. We are convinced that if the United States and Great Britain impose economic sanctions, the tide of South Africa will change now. We must stop the forces of apartheid. The United States and Great Britain hold the key. The Reverend Williams also said he supports a measure now being considered by some San Francisco supervisors that would make San Francisco a sanctuary city for South Africans who flee their country. Libya scores big in war games while U.S. warships cruise offshore. We'll have that story when New Center for Update continues.
right now, make the deal of the year on a 1987 Nissan. Yes, 87. Choose from Nissan Sentras, Stances, and Maximas. They're here now and priced to move. Don't wait for higher prices this fall. I'm gonna help you drive home again. Make the deal of the year now on an 87 Nissan, America's best-selling import. Make it move. These are not actors, these are real people. What comes out of these people is what they feel. It makes you smile. It's fun. It's crazy to see how some people act out on the first date. I like to see it when the couples leave all happy and when they had a great time, you feel good. It isn't planned. It's something spontaneous. People like real life things that really happen. I love it. I think it's a number one. I really do. Weekdays at 3.30 here on Channel 4. The Suspense. H. P. Peasant. Peasant. with one second to go. The Drama. Can you solve the puzzle? The birds and the bees. You did it. The ultimate prize. One million dollars. Who will be next to win the largest payoff in television history? You, you won a million dollars. Find out on the one million dollar chance of a lifetime. Weekdays at four. Do you love a real challenge? While fiddling with his tie, he complains of getting no respect. Who's Rodney Dangerfield? Yes. Do you love to take risks and live dangerously? I'll risk a thousand. Perhaps get into some real jeopardy. I supply the answers. These three players have to come up with the correct question. If they are wrong, it costs them money. Jeopardy. It's where you can win it all or lose it all. Watch Jeopardy. There's everything to risk. Weekdays at 4.30. Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi is showing what his military can do in the Gulf of Sidra. Gaddafi's navy is holding war games, and the Libyan news agency says weapons experts have hit all of their targets so far. The U.S. has kept several ships near the Gulf of Sidra since the U.S. attack on Libya last April. Gaddafi has not commented on the U.S. presence there, but he maintains that all of the Gulf of Sidra is Libyan territory. Meanwhile, the U.S. says it doesn't interpret the war games as a threat. I think we're being cautious. And I don't think that we're uh, going out of the way to pick a fight with uh, Gaddafi. I think the point has been made, and let's hope we don't have to make the point again. The U.S. has had several unannounced flights over Libya in the past few weeks. The Pentagon says those flights are only to maintain freedom in and over international waters. Severe turbulence jolted an Eastern Airlines jet three times on a New York to Miami flight today, injuring 17 people. Nine passengers and eight flight attendants were thrown around the plane's cabin. Eastern officials say the captain had warned of turbulence and told everyone to put their seat belts on. The plane landed safely and all the injured were rushed to local hospitals. An older woman reported the most serious injury, a dislocated shoulder. Military airplanes were on the minds of a record 800,000 spectators at the Chicago Air Show today. One of the most popular attractions came from across the Atlantic, the Patrol of France eight-man precision team. The U.S. showed off the F-16, its most respected and prestigious fighter jet, and the C-5B military cargo transport, which can carry 26 Greyhound buses, made a low, slow pass over the crowd. Here it comes. It may not be the sleekest airplane, but it is the world's largest. Back on this coast, it's been 78 hours aloft for the pilots of an experimental aircraft. The crew of the Voyager took off from Mojave Airport on a practice run for their non-stop trip around the world next September. They plan to make that trip in 12 days and never refuel. Pilots Dick Rotan and Gina Yeager are flying about 10,000 feet above California coastline right now. They plan to return to Earth on Tuesday morning. A chill wind was blowing in the East Bay today. Pat Film will have more on that next. But before the weather, a story from Berkeley on the right to bare arms and other parts of the anatomy. It's the heartbreak suffered by millions of drivers. The doll barrier. That roadblock to having fun behind the wheel. But here's the Suzuki Samurai 4x4 with Miracle MPPV, multi-purpose passenger vehicle. Hi. Let's see if the Suzuki Samurai with MPPV can break the doll barrier. It broke the doll barrier. Proof there's never a dull moment driving the Suzuki Samurai with MPPV. 
Lachen! Hey guys, I gotta get out of here or I'll miss my plane. Hey, not so fast, Sergeant. We're going to miss you. Here, no mas. Miss you guys too. Saying goodbye is never easy, but saying hello is. With AT&T, 10 minutes to West Germany can average just 71 cents a minute. Only AT&T keeps you this close anywhere in the world. AT&T International, long distance service. Hey, come! Yeah, my dad won it on the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, well, Harvey, there's a band up there. Yeah, I know, I see him. Welcome home, Harvey. <laughs> Whose life will it change tonight? Weeknights at 7. Clothes fell today in Berkeley as nature has celebrated a national nude weekend. Actually, today's outing attracted more sightseers and news media than actual nudists. It was quite chilly and only one woman and two men shed their clothes. They want a nude beach established on a proposed shoreline park at Berkeley's marina. Most, but not all, of the people who came to the marina today supported the naturist's right to bear more than arms. I basically want to support the people, the people's right to, to bathe with, with or without clothes. I'm all for freedom for persons, people having, you know, the, the rights to do what they want. It's what America's all about. I don't think uh, nudity, you know, is, should be this open on a beach like this, you know, where anybody can come up here, you know, unsupervised, and, you know, especially the children. And Berkeley city planner agrees, saying there's no chance that a nude beach will be established in the city. Pat Finn is here with the weather. It was a little cloudier today. Is it going to clear up? Um, uh, by about Wednesday, the marine layer will start yeah. to thin out, so we're looking forward to a little more sunshine. You know, I know we keep talking about this nude thing, but uh, it's one thing doing what you want to do, in my opinion, doing what you want to do, it's okay, but people could just accidentally wander by there, and that's, that was made me wonder. I accidentally wandered by five times today. <laughs> oh, okay, it went a long way for that one. Uh, this came a long way from Sonoma County. I want to take a oh. quick peek at this. Paul Knowles, such a nice guy, takes time out to send these things in, and this is the weekend crew, starting off with uh, Pete Liebengood uh, over on this side, and you can see uh, Gary next to him, and then Jerry and Emerald, looking as gorgeous as always. <laughs> look at me, though. Don't, don't, you know who I look like here? I tried to figure it out. Which Remember one? Crazy? I'm the, the, the one with the umbrella in the hand right, right here. Okay. Don't I look like Crazy Guggenheim from the old <laughs> Jackie Gleason show? Remember him? <laughs> that guy? But thank but you to look, Paul. you've got all the spotlight here. That's true. Well, rightfully so, too. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at that. Let's spotlight the temperatures around the area right now. Currently in San Francisco, with the fog and the clouds rolling in, we have... As we roll the videotape and show you the temperatures, here we go. We have a temperature in downtown San Francisco, officially at 55 degrees. Oakland at 58. It hit 66 in San Francisco. Oakland, it hit a high of 68 degrees. San Jose, one of the warmest spots in the area. When the high today got up to 83, you can see 59s for Concord and San Rafael. And at the airport now, 57 degrees. So temperatures today slightly cooler because we had a little more fog and cloud to deal with earlier today. That'll again be the trend once again during the day tomorrow. A little cooler than normal in the northern corners of the United States, 60s up and through the northwest and northeastern part of the U.S., but continues to be very warm in the southeast. Highs in the 90s and even 100s in some areas. Columbia, South Carolina hit 104 degrees. That's the seventh day in a row they topped 100. Also a record in Wilmington, North Carolina, with 99 degrees for a high. Not only hot in through the Carolinas, but a drought condition has existed there. They'll probably start rationing water in South Carolina tomorrow. They were getting a few showers during the night tonight, as you can see on our latest radar picture. Part of the reason it's so hot has to do with a high-pressure system that's pumping a lot of warm air in their direction. That high is also pumping the moist air from the Gulf. And that's interacting with a couple of different storm systems to produce widely scattered but some rather heavy showers and thunder showers during the day and night tonight. Some uh, flooding reported, or at least flash flood watches in places and through Kansas and Nebraska into the night tonight. Binghamton, New York, there was flooding in the streets earlier. And in the suburb of Syracuse, Clay, New York, there was a tornado earlier tonight. 
did damage to a couple of mobile homes. Our side of the country, again, the same old story around the bay. Fog and clouds in the morning, followed by plenty of sunshine inland, just partial clearing right around the bay. But no rain in sight, and that is bad news, especially in areas to the south. Kern County, for example, very dry. Forest fire there started uh, Friday. They did get it contained today, and some uh, 50 residents were in the Lake Isabella area. Lake Isabella area were able to return to their homes after they got the fire contained, but they'll continue to watch out because more than 500 acres have burned. And it will continue to stay dry there and here. Time-lapse photography showing the clouds edging in our direction, pretty much falling apart as they get here, and that is going to be the trend. So in our forecast during the night tonight, we're calling for the coastal clouds and fog to spread inland, lows in the 50s. For tomorrow, once again, we wake up to the stuff, plenty of sunshine inland, but along the coast, just partial clearing, highs from the 60s in the coast to the upper 80s, well inland. And then in the five-day forecast, we start to see a little bit of a drying trend midweek with uh, sunshine making its way in here earlier. But all in all, temperatures should be close to normal and a nice week to look forward to. I hope you have a good one. Hope you have a good one, too. Thank, Thank you. you, Pat. Thank you, Pat. And despite the late hour, a full sports final is just around the corner. But first, Uncle Wayne would like your ear for a moment or two. Just for you this weekend, to Russia with interest. The Budget Gourmet Slimline, eight exquisite low-calorie entrees. At around $1.89 and under 300 calories, one of man's lighter creations. I guess most people would think life would be pretty great for a kid whose father invented the Dove Bar. Well, you know what? It was. I guess a lot of guys agonize over whether or not they should go into the family business. But when your father invents a dove bar, a lot of that indecision kind of melts away. Your summer is about to get a lot better right now. July is jumping. Toyota is jumping. July is jumping with deals on trucks and Toyota. Jumping with hot deals on trucks that are the number one sellers. Jumping with our biggest inventory ever. And this July, factory to dealer incentives and all trucks can make these deals incredible. So come on in and jump for July. Nick Nolte's been a cop for 48 hours. A bum who was down and out in Beverly Hills. And now he's shooting them up as a modern-day Texas Ranger. Entertainment Tonight takes you on the set for your first look at his latest role in the action-packed thriller Extreme Prejudice. Then, Rob Lowe's sexy co-star Demi Moore tells all about Last Night, the new film that has everyone talking. Get the inside story from your favorite stars only on Entertainment Tonight. Monday night at 7.30. Big night in sports final tonight. Fan in the stands is back, right? You know, Emerald, the uh, the starting time of this show is so late. It will be 11.55, mm. so we're going to hold the audience with about uh, the only thing we know how to do. Give them what? something you see only here. A coxswain will appear on this program. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. Is a that, coxswain is that will about appear it? on this program. That's about it. Well, you let too much out of the bag, uh, then people get spoiled. A okay. coxswain will appear on this program. That's coming up in just a few minutes. I want to mention, though, before we go, tomorrow morning, oh, pick up your okay. San Francisco oh, yeah. Chronicle. If you really want to okay. know what this guy's right. like, there's a big spread on Gary Radnich. It's a good piece. Jerry, too. I'd say thank you, but the cue cards say a coxswain will appear on tonight's program. <laughs> All right, that's true, too. You sound they, like a parent. You're right both times. Okay, we'll, we'll be watching Thanks, the sports Jerry. final. Mm -hmm. Now, you, of course, remember when the nuclear power plant in Chernobyl, Russia, exploded. You may not know that for the trouble it caused, the state of Oregon plans to send the Russian government a bill. Just for you this weekend, Wayne Shannon has the details. Have you guys ever been up to Oregon? If you haven't, trust me, it's got to be the strangest place on the planet. I mean, it's all woodchucks, Pendleton shirts, pickups, size 12 dresses, logging boots. And to add injury to insult, couldn't even hold the attention of the wackos who followed the Rajneesh Bhagwan. One of the great intellectuals of our day. And now we are told that an Oregon state senator has tallied up the bill for all the testing that was done in Oregon following the Chernobyl nuclear explosion. You know, looking for radiation in the air or milk or three-in-one oil or whatever. Which came to a grand total of 73,000 wood chips, all of which the senator says he wants Russia to pay for. Huh? Wouldn't you like to be a mouse in the corner of Red Square when that little document arrives? Russia is yet mourning its dead, and some hayseed who works in Salem thinks it's time to pay the piper in foreign currency. 
cowabunga buffalo slob. That's got to be tacky, even by Oregonian standards. Where do you suppose we get a politician like that? And he's a Democrat, too, from Eugene. Of course, that explains a lot. Eugene was only recently allowed to build an on-ramp to I-5. <laughs> I'm a California native. You, Wayne. And that wraps up this late edition of Weekend Update. Thanks for staying up with us this late. And the late edition of Sports Final is next. Have a good week. Good night. Club Med Summer is happening right now. Hey, here you have a wicked backhand. It has everything, except you. See your travel agent or call us. Honey, did you make the payment on the Isuzu? No. Did you pay it last month? I haven't made a payment on the pickup since we bought it. Three months without a payment? Does the word repossession mean anything to you? Make your best deal on any new Isuzu pickup, and your first three payments will be paid by Isuzu, so relax. Hey, Mr. Accountant, did you pay the electric bill? <laughs> Isuzu pickup sale. We pick up your first three payments. See your Greater Bay Area Isuzu dealer now. They're small, 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 they're not there at all. Cook friendly boots, small, 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 they're not there at all. Yummy! You love Oreo cookies and cream ice cream. Now try that scrumptious taste in the world's smallest ice cream sandwich. New Oreo cookies and cream snack witches. Small, 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 then not there at all. So have another. Small, 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 then not there at all. New Oreo cookies and cream snack witches. Morgan. Bye. My name is Anthony Austin. I'm a Giants fan, but I'm a bigger, but I'm a bigger sports final fan. Stay tuned for Pete and Gary next on Sports Final. Now, Northern California's most comprehensive sports program. This is Sports Final. Tonight on Sports Final, the Giants break for the All-Star Game on top in the National West. Highlights and player reactions ahead. The A's, meanwhile, hit midseason on the other end of the stick. This evening we discuss the Oakland A's problem. And the Golden State Warriors' new regime rolled out the basketball for the first time this evening. These stories and more tonight on Sports Final. Sports Final brought to you by Toyota, who reminds you to get more from life. Buckle up. Who could ask for anything more? And by Plank Road, keg beer in a bottle. And by Express Mail Overnight Service from your post office. When we say overnight, we mean overnight. In the days of Frederick Miller's Plank Road Brewery, grain merchants searched the countryside for prized barley. Barley to make draft beer fresh from the cake. It's hard to find beer like that today because most bottled and canned beers are cooked to preserve them. Well, there's still a beer made like draft. It's cold filtered instead of cooked. Plank Road, keg beer in a bottle. When an urgent package leaves your hands, make sure the hands you leave it in can deliver. Express Mail Overnight Service from your post office delivers over city, over state, overnight, over whatever stands in the way, over 97% of the time, and climbing for about half what most others charge. Two pounds, just 10.75. Express Mail Overnight Service. When we say overnight, we mean overnight.
You've just unchained your new Toyota 4x4. You've turned loose 135 horses of pure turbo power with high running ground clearance and independent front suspension. So when you get it home, maybe you better cage it. Toyota 4x4s, starting at 89.98. The number one selling compact 4x4 trucks in America. Who could ask for anything more? Valvoline presents a blockbuster of epic proportions. The Valvoline Oil Rush. Starring Valvoline All Climate and Super HBO with Forgod, Racing Oil, and Valvoline Turbo 5. Excitement. A spectacular money-back offer. Action. Buy 12 quarts, get a $5 rebate from Valvoline. Romance. You'll love our special oil. The Valvoline Oil Rush. Available at all Bill's Drugs. Right now at Straw Hat, when you order a large two-topping original pizza, just say $7.99, and that's all you'll pay. $7.99. Pepperoni and mushroom. So come into Straw Hat, order a large two-topping original pizza, and say $7.99. $7.99. Salami and linguiça. $7.99 plus tax at any participating Straw Hat, as many times as you like through August 10th. But you don't need a disguise. Disguise? What disguise? We got baseball, we got basketball, we got kickoffs, tee-offs, we got flips, flops, and finesses. But to really get you into the action, we got Tom Nettles. Because he knows how to bring you the best of sports, the fun. What gets me excited about sports is all the elements involved. All of the drama, all of the humor, all of the human emotions that go into it. We put all this into the news so you'll get more out of the news on News Center 4 at 5, 6, and 11. In the days of Frederick Miller's Plank Road Brewery, men were called from the old world to make beer. Craft beer fresh from the keg, just as their fathers made. It's hard to find beer like that today, because most bottled and canned beers are cooked to preserve them. Well, there's still a beer made like draft. It's cold filtered instead of cooked. Plank Road, keg beer in a bottle. The Toyota Camry gives you a lot to love. Front wheel drive and the most trouble-free new car you can buy. Generous five passenger room for the family and the most trouble-free new car. And that's why driveways all over America are filling up with new Toyota Camrys. The most trouble-free new car you can buy. When an urgent package leaves your hands, make sure the hands you leave it in can deliver. Express Mail Overnight Service from your post office delivers over city, over state, overnight, over whatever stands in the way. Over 97% of the time and climbing for about half what most others charge. Two pounds, just 10.75. Express Mail Overnight Service. When we say overnight, we mean overnight. Introducing Coda Color BRG, film that captures the color of power. The most accurate, realistic color in print film is here. New Coda Color BRG. The color of Going in good style, morning till good night, spreading the good news. Living the good life. Well, you're good as gold, hitting the heights, roll out the good time. Living the good life. $100,000 instant prizes and millions more to be won in the big spin. Some things just work, plain and simple. Like you and me. You don't ask a lot of questions why, you just know they work, because they do. Like good news from Gillette. A new line of simple, honest products that don't cost a lot of money, but really work for us. Good news shampoo, conditioner, antiperspirant, and shaving cream. All from Gillette at one low price. Good products, good value. Now that's good news. I love the way you say that. <laughs> Today on Star 
our games, can the team representing the soap opera capital come to a meeting of the minds? Will John Schneider's ship come in as a member of the Comedy Store team? Or will Ed Begley Jr. lead his St. Elsewhere team to a swimmingly successful first round victory? From Palm Springs, the heart of the Southern California desert, today three more teams have come to test their athletic ability as the competition continues in another round one matchup on Star Games. Our first team comes from one of television's newest soaps, from Capitol. Here's their captain, Katherine Hicklin, Christine Kellogg, Karen Kelly, Brad Lockerman, Nicholas Walker, and Dane Witherspoon. Our next team represents one of Los Angeles's favorite entertainment spots from the Comedy Store. Co-captain Jeff Altman, co-captain Rex Smith, Lois Bromfield, Teresa Ganzel, Lynn Holly Johnson, and John Schneider. And our third team comes straight from the corridors of St. Allegis Hospital from St. Elsewhere. Here's their captain, Ed Begley Jr., Ellen Breeze, George Deloy, Eric Lonneville, Sagan Lewis, and Jennifer Savage. Special appearances by the famous Chicken and Meadowlark Lemon. Our commissioner is Dick Butkin. Now, here are your hosts, Bruce Jenner and Morgan Brittany. And welcome to Star Games. This is the beautiful Aquatic Center in Palm Springs, California, and we're here for another round one competition. You know, Bruce, I mm -hmm. think what's impressed me most during the past few weeks is how athletic some of these people are. I mean, we've seen some pretty good competitions. Mm -hmm. But then I suppose the really fast times are, well, they must be the norm for you. I mean, being uh, an Olympic gold medalist well, and everything. Well, come on, Morgan. Yeah. You know, the bigger the stakes, the better the athlete. Yeah, but come on, be honest. In any one of these races, you would most likely come out in the lead, well, right? <laughs> well, that's hard to say. I know I am sure that you would do well. Well, uh, come on, embarrass. you're embarrassing me, Morgan. Well, Bruce, there is one way to find out. <laughs> no, maybe some other time. Maybe. Maybe. I'll tell you what. <laughs> We're getting ready now for the start of our first event of the competition today, and that's the Women's Swim Sprint, and we will be right back with that. Hey, Bruce. Yeah. How about you swimming against the women? <laughs> you got a point there. We'll be right back. Well? There's no single cheese like Velveeta. Cause Velveeta is more than one single cheese. It's one great slice that's especially nice for making grilled cheese with me. It takes cheddar and Swiss, specially blended just right to make Velveeta slices a creamy delight. Velveeta really knows how to please. They taste so great you can't stand to wait. There's no single cheese like Velveeta. Slices. You need calcium every day to help keep bone healthy. If you stop drinking milk, a prime source is gone. Add Caltrate to your diet with nature's purest, most concentrated form of calcium. Caltrate, calcium for healthy bone. A diet tip from Accutrim. Always chew your food slowly. But may we also suggest you try Accutrim, the appetite suppressant that helps control your appetite a full 16 hours. Accutrim tablets, the 16-hour appetite suppressant. This is Lens Crafters, the optical that custom grinds eyeglasses in about an hour, even bifocals, trifocals, plastic, and glass. Listen. I told him I was on my way for vacation. We were leaving. My husband was in the car outside, and it did take an hour. The selection of frames is just unbelievable. Walk in, get your glasses, walk out, and you know you've got good glasses. Oh, the selection was great. Lens Crafters, glasses in about an hour. Southland Mall and now in Hilltop Mall across from Wells Fargo Bank and Stone Ridge Mall at the east entrance. When you've got the hottest trucks in America, you don't need gimmicks. All you need is the hottest deal in America. And Nissan's got it. 5.7% annual percentage rate factory-sponsored financing on every Nissan hardbody truck. That's the lowest anywhere. 5.7%. You could save $829 on this hardbody regular bed and up to $1,980 on this King Cab 4x4. So talk to your participating Nissan dealer today. Who says you need gimmicks to sell a great truck? The name is Nissan. Take a lesson from the past The old favorites just seem to last Look what happened to way back when 
Now everything old is new again. Good things never go out of style. Like sugar-free Country Time lemonade flavored drink mix with 100% NutraSweet. Country Time's not too tart, not too sweet. Mm, tastes like good old-fashioned lemonade without the sugar. Old-fashioned taste is new again. Going off your rocker? Paint it red devil. Private, how do we stay looking clean? With Automatic Vanish, sir. It's tough detergent formula helps keep us clean and deodorized. With Automatic Vanish, the clean goes on and on. Dramamine, used as directed, has helped prevent motion sickness for almost 40 years. That's why people say Dramamine means you travel well. Men, you've been selected as waiters for the A1 Cafe because of your unique ability to deliver the A1 steak sauce message. And that message is... A1, A1 has savory herbs and flavorful spices to blend with, with and bring, bring out, out the natural, natural flavor of ground beef. Mmm, right. Because what is ground beef? It's, it's ground, ground steak. steak. And what, what tastes better on steak than A1? A1? I couldn't have said it better myself. A1 makes hamburgers taste, taste like, like steak burgers. burgers. Winning's easy. Give 110%, expect 110%. From yourself, everyone, everything. Speed Stick deodorant gives 110%. That's its edge. Why? It has no alcohol, and alcohol evaporates. Speed Stick protection doesn't evaporate even after 24 hours. Glides on dry in just a few strokes. That's 110% protection. Speed Stick deodorant, the wide stick. That's your edge. By Menon. Medical news from Nuprin. Moments ago, a medical study reported the best news for tough headaches in over 10 years. Beyond regular strength aspirin, beyond extra strength Tylenol, there's a higher level of pain relieving strength, Nuprin strength. Two little Nuprin are stronger than extra strength Tylenol, so Nuprin stops headaches better. And remember, Nuprin is gentler to your stomach than aspirin. For strength beyond extra strength Tylenol, Nuprin strength. How can we get Kraft Macaroni and Cheese together?